Hey guys, it's Meg and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if the audio for the video is a bit bad. I cannot find my microphone for the life of me. I've looked everywhere, top to bottom, turned my room upside down and I cannot find it. So if the audio is bad, I'm really sorry. But anyway, can you tell by what I'm wearing what today's video is about? Should I keep this on the whole video? Mm. Should I? No, I'm gonna take it off. <laughs> but before I take it off, let me tell you about today's video. So if you guys have been keeping up with my concert vlogs lately, I went to see Beyonce on the Renaissance tour in May, and I tell you, it was the most incredible concert ever. Like, it blew my mind. Like, I was trying to really avoid seeing stuff on like social media so it wouldn't ruin too much for me. So almost the whole show was a surprise to me, which is, amazing i just i loved every second of it if you haven't seen my concert vlog of that show i will link it down in the description so you guys can go ahead and watch it i made this hat from scratch i bought all the supplies for it and i wore this to the show no i did not wear it when beyonce came on stage because i didn't want to block people behind me we were in gold circle and honestly it was one of the best concerts i have ever been to in my life i'm definitely going to her next tour whenever she tours <laughs> this record that i'm going to unbox and show you guys today has literally been on my wish list for the longest time ever since the album came out i have wanted it on record and i missed on the whole sale of it when she was selling it on her official merch store and then other big retailers like hmv were selling this record for ridiculous amounts so i finally got a hold of the record yes. ladies and gents we are going to be unboxing and reviewing beyonce renaissance final i am buzzing i cannot tell you how excited i am that i have this in my hands okay i am actually gonna take this off because this hat is really heavy oh no it's messed up my hair now as some of you may be aware beyonce was selling this on her merch store for 35 pounds but i actually missed that whole time that it was on her merch store i don't know why i don't know if it's because it was an advertised that like, usually artists post got vinyls on my store go buy them whatever like taylor swift she will always say she's got a record coming out on her instagram so i thought that would be the case for queen b but there was no advertising of it so i was unaware that it existed i didn't even know if it was printed anyway when i missed it on her official web store it then got restocked but then i didn't have the money to get it at that time so i was like okay it's fine i'll get it next month and then it got taken off the site Anyway, I went to go purchase it on HMV and it was 69.99. And I was just like, I cannot afford that on a record. 70 pounds, that's a lot of money. So I have been looking on secondhand sites. Again, my favorite place for records, eBay, Depop and Vinted. I've just been searching tirelessly for this record. Some people selling it opened and for like 50 pounds. I was like, it's open though. There's rips on the record. There's like the sleeve is damaged. I don't really want that. And then literally three weeks ago, I saw this on eBay and the seller was selling it, as you can see, brand new sealed for 55 pounds. And I was like, okay, this is my only option. So I'm gonna send the seller an offer. When it comes to sending offers to sellers, some people get really scared to send an offer but like you have just as much right to send an offer as long as it's not a ridiculous decrease in the price so i asked for 10 pound off so i offer 45 instead of 55 and they accepted it and i have it in my hands here obviously 45 pounds is a lot of money for a record but for this considering how much this is at hmv i got a bargain there were two cover variations for this album there was the original which is this one and then there was the alternate cover of her with her cowboy hat on and it was like a renaissance like painting in the background i'll put a photo here of what that was but i did prefer this album cover so i really wanted the record with this cover on it so i was so happy the one that i sent off of for was this one anyway that is a little bit of backstory i'm so happy this has been on my wish list for records for ages i'm so happy about my hands so let's get on with the unboxing of it so here's what the front looks like absolutely stunning and this is what the hype sticker is it says beyonce renaissance includes 36 page photo booklet collectible poster and double 180 gram vinyl. This is a legit box set. Like I love this. I love this has an actual cover for it. Like it's sick. So on the side it just says Beyonce Renaissance Act One. So what it has me thinking is that she's gonna come out with a, like a part two to Renaissance. So Act Two. Is she, cause why would she call it Act One? Do you know what I mean? This is what the back looks like. I absolutely love 
the horse and then you have the trackless here. As you can probably tell, I'm wearing my Renaissance tour top. I got the one with the horse on it because I just love the whole disco tar horse. This album is so amazing. I'm in love with it. Let's get this open. I'm so excited. I cannot believe I bought this brand new. Let's get this open. I am gonna keep the sticker. I do just need to get a sleeve for it. To be honest, can I even get a sleeve for this? I don't think I can. So the box itself, obviously it's gonna get damaged in the post. So it does have a few little creases. So like here, one up here. The corners are a little dented as well. But to be honest, this is going to happen, especially with being transported in the mail it was brand new you literally saw the wrapper come off so obviously this cannot be helped okay should we pull the poster out first i think this is the poster okay oh oh my god this thing feels so like exclusive i love this i'm assuming this is the poster it's on a matte card my nails low-key kind of match <laughs> No match the vibe. Oh my God, is it double-sided? Oh my God, it's double-sided poster. Oh my God, are you joking? Okay, it's a double-sided poster. So here's the first side. I don't know how much of this is in frame, um, but it is sick. It, I think it's one of her visuals from the tour. I cannot remember. And then we have a stunning photo on the other side. Oh my God. It's what the second side of the poster looks like. I love that. Oh wait, no. Is this the, wait, no, it's not. Oh, oh my God, I thought it was three LPs. It's not, so this one's a booklet. Oh, okay, perfect. But this is a 36 page booklet and this is what the alternate cover looked like. I love this cover, don't get me wrong. I think it's sick, but I just, this is just like the classic for me. I always love the classic covers, but I'm so happy that I actually have a copy of the alternate cover, okay. Oh my God. I'm so excited to read through this. This is what the front page looks like. You guys can go ahead and pause it if you want to have a read, but I'm not going to read it now because this video will be way too long. Oh my God. Okay, so essentially it has the song and then it has the lyrics to that song with some gorgeous photos of Queen Bee herself. Am I actually getting this in? I really hope I am. I love this photo, so pretty. I don't know if I can show this photo. Obviously like she's covered, but like, again, I don't know how much can be shown but regardless this one is for cozy i love cozy cozy is definitely one of my favorites oh, alien superstar that photo shoot is actually perfect for alien superstar are you joking this one is for cuff it and then this one is energy break my soul look at that outfit oh my god that's so artsy and then we have a photo shoot photo here church girl i think is so underrated i love church girl but I don't see anyone talking about it on like TikTok or Instagram. Like I think it's slept on. I love that song. And then this is a continuation of Church Girl. Again, beautiful visuals. Uh, we've all seen these photos, love them. Plastic off the sofa, love that song as well. This is one of my favorite photo shoots that Beyonce has done. I just think it's so like classy, but like, she's like, nah, I'm that girl. <laughs> Virgo's groove, I'm not gonna move my head because again, I don't know how much I can show. Gorgeous. I love this photo as well. Like the outfit. Oh my God. And this one is for Move. Move on the Renaissance tour was such a moment. Honestly, it was such a moment. Again, I'll link my concert vlog down below so you can go ahead and watch it. And then we have Heated, of course, the iconic song which everyone raves about, rightfully so. Oh, these photos again, sick. What's this one for? This is for Thick. This one is All Up In Your Mind, again, this song is so slept on, no one talks about it. And this photo? Okay, what's next? America has a problem. Oh my God. I love this. We took a photo shoot in front of this, which was in the Renaissance store. Yes, there was a Renaissance tour shop. And this was on a big projector. Like, I have such fond memories with this photo. Whenever I look at this photo, I always get taken back to the show. And then this one is Pure Honey. This one is Summer Renaissance. This is the final song on the track list. And then we have, okay, I'm gonna quickly show you the final page in the booklet. I, it's amazing, but like, again, I don't know how much YouTube's gonna care for me to show this. Boop. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so that is the 36 page booklet, was it? Love it, stunning. Now, the discs themselves. I think they are just out of black, but regardless, I'm so excited. So essentially, you've got different faces. So you put these together, it makes this face. Love this, what a serve, honestly. And this is what the other variation could look like. So cool. Oh my God, it's a sleeve in a sleeve. You've got this sleeve, and then you 
obviously. Is it just standard black? Yeah, okay, so the record is standard black. You know what though? I'm not mad at it being standard black, so I think that actually matches the vibe of the album. So I think it was a good choice just having the standard black. Although like some colors with like gold, no, silver, would it look sick? Oh my God, if they do a silver variation, I might have to get that. Let me just show you the center stickers anyway. So this is side B. So I've shown you a bit of random order. And then this is side A, it's the saddle of the horse. And then for this disc, side C, oh again, it is literally the same. The only difference is the background color. This one's red. This sticker says side C and side D. And then the other side is literally the disco horse again. She knocked this album out of the park. I love how extra this is, like the whole box set vibe. It's so cool. Okay, so let me do my favorite songs on the album. It's literally the whole album. I love the whole album. But the ones that I typically tend to play initially is Cozy, Alien Superstar, Cuff It, Church Girl, Heated, All Up In Your Mind, America Has A Problem and Pure Honey. They're the ones that are like, oh my God, they make me go feral. <laughs> the whole album is just absolutely amazing. I love it. So that is all for this record unboxing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss any final uploads from myself. What's your favorite song of this album? Let me know in the comment section below and let me know if you went to the Renaissance tour and tell me what you thought of it. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video.